Wire here, Wire Lady TV, every Wednesday at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Today we are making possums. Every week we're making something new uh, where I start with some sketches and then I just go for it. We've made raccoons, we've made otters, all kinds of things. I forget who asked for the possums, but if it was you, please comment and let me know who it was that uh, asked for the possums. And today I wanted to wish a big happy birthday to Mustafa. So it is Mustafa's birthday. Mustafa is one of our moderators on the channel and a very active member and a helper uh, in all kinds of respects and, uh, and a great inspiration. Uh, Mustafa has an amazing Instagram account where he does wire and resin and all kinds of things. So happy birthday, Mustafa. Everybody wish him a happy birthday in the comments. And without further ado, I'm going to flip the screen and um, check out your comments and get started with the um, possums. So let's flip the screen and there we go. And then as always, I'm going to just to adjust to make sure that I'm well centered here, that I can see what's going on. And I'm going to pull up the video on my computer so I can see your comments because I think I saw Amber there. But now I have to pull it up and see who is here. So let's do this. Takes a little bit, a couple of minutes. And then there's an ad. Oh, lots of comments. Hi, Julie. Hi, Amber. Hi, Michael. And happy birthday, Mustafa. Exactly. Hi, Sharon. And hi, Sue. Hi, Alex. Hi, Mirta. Hi, Ducey. Lots of people hopping on. So there we go. I am just going to pull up the uh, on the computer here, refresh my screen so I can see what's going on and away we go. Just get it started. So now this is what we see. So let's adjust the screen so we can actually be centered here in what we're doing. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. Those are my my uh, designs for the uh, for the possums and then we're going to go from here and do some different things. Hi Mustafa, you're on! Yay! Happy birthday Mustafa! And it's late where you are Mustafa, you're probably right in the middle of your birthday party so no worries if you can't stay on and um, yeah so everybody's hopping on, all the best, exactly. So I'm going to get started and one day, Mustafa, I'm actually going to do resin, which, which is something that Mustafa has been asking me to do, and it will come in its due time. So let me just pull up some wires. I have some like 20 gauge wires. I have 22. I like to use 20 the best. So I'm going to do, um, these are actually two different wires. This is artistic wire and para wire. People always ask me my favorite wire. I, I love the artistic wire. I don't know. I just prefer it. I like the colors. Um, I just I just look like the way it works, but there's also um, uh, Parawire is a good brand as well if you're looking for wire. Don't buy the cheap brands off Amazon that you don't know the name because they're often really bad quality. So uh, hi Peggy, nice to see you. And hi Love Soul, what a beautiful username, I love that. Can't stand missing my fun videos. Oh, well I really appreciate it. So guys, look at all these crazy designs for the possums. Uh, possums are notorious for having their babies on the back so I thought it would be cute to do one like that I think I prefer this one to that one this one's got a little crazy uh, also possums like to hang by their tail so I thought that would be a cute one to do as well and then just like a basic one with a curly curly cue so why don't we start with a basic one and then we'll get a little more ambitious as we go along so let's go ahead and get some 20 gauge wire. 20 is my uh, go-to gauge of wire. And um, the babies one is cute, eh? Yeah, we'll definitely have to do one with the babies because those are adorable. But let's get warmed up a little bit. In fact, let's use this new wire that I really like is this antique brass from Artistic Wire. This is one that Beadalon sent me. Uh, they send me all kinds of beautiful wires and I really appreciate it. In fact, they are sponsoring uh, season two of Live Wires for the Win. And if you guys are wondering what happened to Live Wires for the Win, I have to put out the applications for that. Uh, that Look out for that in the next week or so. And if you'd like to apply to participate in Live Wires for the Win, Sharon uh, participated last year 
and we had a great time with that. Uh, this year it's going, no, uh, last year it was eight weeks. This, this year is going to be a little shorter. It's going to be six weeks. We're going to have more participants and uh, the goal is to have, uh, I guess, 12 participants and we'll have an elimination of two people each week because that way nobody feels uh, uh, intimidated to apply because um, it's going to be a little more open with lots more people involved. So look out for that coming soon. And uh, we'll go global this time. There we go. So now let's just go ahead and go for this possum thing. So I could just like follow this outline like that. You can trace it or you can just do it by eye. So I think I'll just do it by eye. Um, just uh, I just prefer to do it that way. So for this one, we can get the um, the sort of start maybe towards the middle. I cut the wire way too long, but that's okay. So we're just gonna do like a little pointy nose type of thing. And I think I'm just gonna do more of a silhouette thing. So we're just gonna go here, bring this one down. I don't know if my shape's gonna be very good, but we're just gonna try it like that around here. I could do like the eyeball, but I think I'm, do I want to do the eyeball? I think I'm going to keep it like super simple and then like the little ear type of thing. So we're going to just do like the little ear and you can print off any shapes off, you know, clip art or uh, Pexels or Pixabay are two good clip art sites. And um, even Canva, if you have Canva, they have all kinds of very cool uh, images, clip art and photos on Canva that you can use to trace uh, shapes as well or you can just get a photo of a possum and uh, print it and trace it so we're just going to keep this one super simple front and back legs nothing super special I'm going to make sure I'm staying on here so you guys can see my hands this needs to be a little bit longer I think around here hi Kathy oh hopefully I'm not missing anyone's comments and an unpronounceable name, I, I believe in Russian. So if you if you want to write your name out in a way that it's pronounceable, um, uh, go for it because I'm really sorry I can't translate. Well, I don't think names translate anyways, but um, but if you have a name you'd like to be called by, just let me know. And so we're gonna take this one and we want to do the tail. So we have to do like kind of a curved back type of thing. We're just gonna do a cute little curve back, keep it a little bit stylized. And then I will bring this one straight out, I guess. And then this one we're gonna wrap around. So this one's pretty simple. We're just gonna bring this one around here. And Canva is amazing. I actually have Canva Pro because I do use a lot of the functions uh, for my doing my templates and um, thumbnails for YouTube and that type of thing. So Canva is amazing. You can use the free version or you can get Canva Pro and uh, it's got amazing, amazing functions. You could remove backgrounds. I use it for my comics because you could remove backgrounds on it and it makes like a really clear image. Here's Possum so far. And now we're just gonna do a curly cute tail. So let me get my little ring cone so I can actually um, do the tail properly. I just have to find where I put it. I think it's over here at the side. Um, oh goodness, of course I can't find all my tools now. So let me just find my, oh here it is. I have my ring cone. My favorite way to make spirals. So I'm going to get that. Here's my cone. These are just plastic cones that you can get on um, Amazon. And uh, hi Clarice, nice to see you. So now we're gonna take this one here and we're just going to make our cone-shaped spirals. We, this is my favorite way to make spirals. So you go around a few times, like working your way up the cone, and then we're going to remove it. And then you cut this part flush. And then we're just gonna do a little loop on the end so take this end and just close it up. I have a lot of tutorials that show very clearly how to do this. So we close that loop. And then what I do is I take it and just rotate it in slowly to bring 
the spiral in. So you see how when you push it down, it works really well. So we've got that, if this got too pushed in, you could bring it back a little bit, push it down. So that makes it, that's the easiest way to make a perfect uh, spiral. So there we go. So that's my, my, one of my favorite hacks. And we're gonna roll this in a little more. You could just hold it thumb and finger and roll it in a little more. So I let, got a little out of control with the with this spiral, but it it's really cute. So so this would be the first design that's like super simple. Uh, let me bring it up to show you guys. So this is a very super simple uh, silhouette of the possum. Uh, how, Heather, how do you make two alike but reverse for earrings. So actually, usually what I do, Sue, and I have some tutorials about it, and what I do is I do two at once. So I, I would put the two wires together and do the silhouettes at once and then separate them to do the details. And I will link up the, a tutorial for that on how to make identical earrings. I'm gonna write that down. So if we have any questions in the group, I'm gonna write that down. So identical earrings and I'll post that in the description of the video the things that we've talked about Ducey says so cute thank you I made a magic string bracelet that sounds cool and Amber loves the tail thank you and Clarissa shared the link to the wire makers club on Facebook so if you guys aren't always uh, members uh, or if you're not already members you could definitely um, join up on Facebook to join our group so now the other one I wanted to try was to do like a little dangling possum dangling on a branch. So we can just maybe do a branch out of brown and then do the possum hanging down. So let's get some brown wire. This is the artistic wire. I also have some multicolor wire that I didn't find, but which would be great for the for the tree branch. I, I think when I did the koala, I did a tree branch with the multicolored wire, which was really cool. So let's just get a piece of this one. And what I was thinking too was to do like a branch and then a little thing sticking up might be interesting. So we wanna make it, doesn't have to be super big either. So we can just take this and bring it in here. If we wanna make it really look branchy, we can make this part more rounded, you know, like the end, like the cross section of a tree type of thing. Totally not necessary, but I like to experiment with these things. So if we bring this one in here and we make kind of a little branch thing, so one can kind of go out, maybe out that way. It would be, actually it would be really cool to do it like twisted too. Could try that, that might be interesting. I'm just playing here. So if we're good to bring this one around I should have maybe not made that one so like big, but I'm just gonna play with it. So we're gonna just bring this one out here and then we can bring this one sort of out here and bring this one back in here. If we wanna twist this one as well. You can make a branch any way you want. It doesn't really matter. So I'm just bringing this one in here and it's kind of nice when it looks really rough too. So I'm just gonna bring this one back here and just bring it around here. And then this one too, if you bring this one back this way, and then we can do the same thing where we twist it like this. You can also buy the twisted wire. The last week's Tip Tuesday, I showed people how to make things with like twisted artistic wire. So. So there's all kinds of things you can do. And then you can just do like a loop to hang it up or something. Or we could do another branch, maybe up here. Say we did another branch up here and then just a little loop like to hang it up on. So if we do that, but keep a bit of a loop at the top. So if we wanna like hang it up like a pendant type of thing we can do that. Okay, how am I doing this? Um, this way? No, I'm unwinding it. So let's do it that way. And around. Yeah, it's better if it looks kind of rough too, you know, you don't want it perfect. But see, if you have it up like this, you would have a loop to hang the thing in, which might be interesting. And then we can just bring this one around. 
and maybe I'll link up the koala video too because then you can find out how I did this with the um, colored wire. So I'm gonna write just koala video so I remember. And now this little extra piece here too. I'm not sure what I was doing. To, I don't really like the way that circle looks anymore. So I'm just gonna like bring this one down here and just, just kind of cover it up. This is very random. I'm not even sure I'm gonna use this stick at all, but we're gonna see. So if we have this, so that's one way to make a stick, but it's, you know, it's a little bit of a mess, but let's try, let's just try another way. I'm gonna get another piece of wire just to try something else. Um, I'm picturing an ear cuff that looks like a branch and then a possum can hang. That would be cute. Nice. So I'm going to now just try one that's like super basic as well. And we'll just decide which one we want. So you can just do like a super basic, um, uh, branch as well. So we're going to bring that one that way and this one up that way, that one up here. That one up that way, Let's bring it around. And we can also do sort of that method where we fill it in a little bit with the spiral wire, which is kind of interesting. So maybe I'm gonna bring this one down here, bring this a little bit down here. And I can even bring it back this way, I guess, down that way and that way and up that way. So there's just different ways you can make the branches. Don't worry too much about it. We're not here for branches, we're here for possums. So I will just uh, finish this one off very quickly and get that one off. Hi, Loris, how are you? Uh, Peggy said, oh yes, yeah, so the good idea for the ear cuff, definitely a good idea. Yeah, I haven't done a lot of ear cuffs. I have trouble getting them adjusted properly so they actually like look very good, but I like the idea of doing an ear cuff, definitely. And then this one, again, if you wanna like make it look like there's another like little stick, but you wanna make this look discreet, you can just do a loop to the back and then you can barely even see that loop and it still looks like somewhat like a little, like a little branch like that. So there's, there's different ways you can do this. And then to attach it, you can just take this and bring it around just to finish it off. So that's, that's another way you can do a branch, very simple. And then just trim this one off here. So we have two branches. We have one that's very simple and then one that's more like twisted so any way any way that you want I don't know which one you guys like better or if it makes much difference so there's like a twisted branch and a straight branch so you guys can let me know which one you want and I'm gonna get some wire for the possum so let's try the pair of wire the gold one and I uh, thought you were gonna go blind still blurry after some time to adjust, you fi fix your advanced settings. Yeah, that's a good idea to fix the advanced settings. And Mirch is working on guitar strings. They're very hard. Yeah, they're like steel. So simple, straight. Okay, cool, nice. So let's do that. And so for the possum, we don't need it super huge, but maybe I'll cut about 15, 18 inches. Oh, Mustafa likes twisted. Oh my goodness. So we're going to get them both ready and whatever has the most, most votes will get done. I'm going to have a sip of water. There we go. Uh, the gauge is 20. I'm using 20. Do twisted for Mustafa's birthday. We could do that. So now let's go ahead and do the possum. So we're going to start at the nose for the possum. And I'll do, there's two kinds, like straight down or this one that's sort of curled around is kind of cute too. I might try to do that one. And it's sort of like the possum, I think that we did, uh, no, last week. No, I'm not, not possum. What did we do? The otter that we did last week. That was it. Simple would look cute too. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, so, oh, my pleasure, Lori. So now we're going to just choose which possum we wanna do. Maybe I'll do the curled around one. And 
I'm just thinking out loud here what I want to do. So we're going to bring this one around and maybe we'll start with the head. So I'm just going to do, make sure these are in, in view. So we're just going to do the little ears and then bring this one around and do the other ear. Don't want to make it too big or we'll have to make the branch bigger around here and then down and then we're just going to do like a little nose type of thing. Um, do I want to do the eye though? I think I should do the eye first. Here, I'm just going to roll this in to do like the eye. Okay, we're just going to bring that one in. I just hope my wire is big enough. So we're going to bring this one in here to do the little, and then the little nose. Bring that one here, do the little nose. Yeah, we might run out of wire. We're going to see. So we're going to take this one here. Bring this one up and around. And then I will put the templates in the description of the video once I'm done them. Uh, last week, it took me a whole week to do the otter templates. I finally got them up today, but I'll try to be a little quicker with the templates in the future. And so what I do is I put my drawings and the finished templates for the work in my Etsy DIY shop and any purchases that you do there help support my channel. And if you buy five templates, you can get 25% off with the coupon code. Uh, I think it's save 25. That's the coupon code. I'll put it in the description of the video. So there's like little possum. So if we're going to do him out upside down, uh, let's try to do his little paws sticking in. So we're just going to do cute little paws in here. Okay, bring this one in and just kind of make them like that. It's, I know it's hard for you guys to see, but we're going to do my best. And then after the live streams, I always post a picture in the community section so you can really get a good idea of how these look because sometimes um, the quality of the live stream is it's okay, but it's not as good as like an actual tutorial. So the purpose of these live streams is just to troubleshoot. If you guys don't mind the quality being a little bur blurrier than the tutorials, I just appreciate, you know, all your feedback and stuff. So that's fun. Uh, balloon animals for kids parties. Actually, it's funny you say that because my husband used to make balloon uh, animals at birthday parties and he sold on the street. So he would be a, um, like a public... Any amuseur public is a public amuser, I guess, in English. And so he would um, he would make balloon animals for the kids. Uh, and that's pretty cool. So um, that was before I knew Mark. So that when I met Mark, he was making the wired bicycles. But before that, he did a lot of other things uh, to make money uh, on the street. He was selling like badges and all kinds of things and actually which is ironic because before I met him I was selling um, buttons on the street so not knowing you know who he was or anything about him that's what I was doing before I met him so that was interesting and then when we met I started making he handed me some wire and I started making wire jewelry and now that's what I do full time so there we go we're gonna do the little foot here Try to keep it like pretty small and pretty cute. So bring the foot in here. Try to get a little closer to the screen. Maybe that's going to help. Yeah, that's help. that helps if I bring this up a little closer to the screen. So we've got the little arm and the little leg. Almost looks like a little teddy bear or something. Let me bring this in a little bit more. And bring that one out a little bit more. There we go. So there's the little arm and the leg. And now we have to bring it out towards the tail. But we're going to bring that one around here. And then we want to do the other side. So the other side will do the same thing. I don't want it to be too, too chubby because they're not really that chubby. So we're going to bring this one in. I just really hope I don't run out of wire here. So we're going to bring this one in here and bring the hand around the paw around here up uh, and down 
and then there would be another foot. So rather than have the foot go the same way that one did, I'm just gonna do this foot like to the outside type of thing. Then it's not gonna take as much wire because I don't have to go back on itself, but that foot is gonna just stick out that way instead. If you have more wire, you could make more detail on it, but I'm kind of running out of wire here. So I'm gonna bring this one down here and up here, and then we wanna bring it around and start the tail. So I'm gonna bring this one right around and the tail, I guess I'll just start kind of up this way. And this way, I was gonna to try to double up the tail, but I think I'm gonna run out of wire. So why don't we just start it first? So let me just check the, check the comments. Say rude, hello, hello. And a uh, match made in heaven. Oh yeah, so now let's go ahead and do the, the tail. So what we're gonna do is, I'm not sure what to, I'm gonna do with this other end yet because it's not long enough. So I'm gonna just hold this. Let's bring it up so you guys can see. Here's the branch. I kind of want to put leaves on this branch now, but I don't know if I'll bother with that or not. So we're going to just bring this one up and curl it around to hold it in place. So hold this and just, it's going to be over here more, curl it a little bit in place, like one, maybe back over here. One, two, and three. So that would be to curl it around to hold it in place. And in theory, I guess you could even have a little bit hanging down, but maybe we'll just clip it for the sake of keeping it clean. So we're gonna just gonna clip that end off. There we go. And we are going to do this. How am I? I'm great. So there, we're gonna bring this one up here. And now we have to Let's bring it in a little bit and around here. So now we have this other end to deal with. So I think I wanna just hang it, like bring it around as well. So I just wanna make this a little bit more narrow. So we're gonna bring this one here, up here, and then we're just gonna wind this one around as much as we can. If we had more wire, we could wind it more times, but I think we're gonna have just enough. So we're gonna bring this one around here. So the idea would be to possibly like separate these so there's a little bit of space in between, so it looks like the tail is kind of spaced apart, but we're kind of running out of room because I put the branches too close together, but that's okay. So we're gonna just do that. So that would be the tail. If you wanna put leaves on the branches, you can, but let's just try to make the branches maybe look a little bit more natural or something. And then, oh, this is the one that it's gonna hang on. So we do need that one somewhat sticking straight up. And then these ones can come more down as you like. And then that's another one that's the other branch like that. So however you want the branches to go, just play, just play around with them and see. And then this is sort of the end of it. So that's the idea. Um, it's pretty good. We get an idea of, you know, of the concept of having it hang upside down. So here is the possum hanging upside down. So he's kind of cute. So that's what we have so far. We have that one and we have the silhouette little guy that looks a little bit more like a squirrel. Actually, I'm doing squirrels next week on the live stream. So we've got those, so cute, absolutely darling, thank you. So let's put those ones there. I'm gonna grab a little sip of water and then we wanna do the, the mama with the babies because that's gonna be super cute. So let's get some wire for that one. I'm kind of liking the darker wire. It just maybe shows up more, but now I'm not 100% sure. So we can either use Actually, I like this wire. This is sort of an in-between wire, the antique brass. Let's let's use the antique brass. Love them both. Thank you. Love this leg sticking out. Yeah, I think it I think it works, eh? It just makes it gives it a little bit more movement. Uh it was just, you know, I out of need because I was running out of wire, but sometimes those little accidents are are those happy accidents that we that Bob Ross talks about, right? So 
So that worked well because it actually looks better with the leg sticking out. So let's take some of this uh, antique brass wire. So we're gonna do that, put that over at the side. And we wanna do, this is gonna be a challenge to do the mama with the babies. So I had it drawn that way, but I also had it drawn more silhouette -y. So what I might do is I've already done a face similar to that on this guy. So maybe I'll try more that type of face and go, oh, you're not even, you can't even see it. Sorry, it was off the page. But so this is the one that I want to do with the kind of infinity eyes. So I'm going to do that one. Uh... Okay, uh, Bob Ross rescued um, wildlife. Okay, cool. That's so, I did not know though that. That's amazing. So let's go ahead and do this little guy. And I am going to, where am I going to start? Hmm, that's always the question, where to start. So why don't I start around the middle? And we are going to do the nose first. Let's start around here. I'll just start with the nose and I'm actually kind of doing it. I'm gonna do it like somewhat backwards. I, I don't know why I always do them pointing right, but maybe it doesn't really matter. Maybe I should just try to follow this as is. Is this cause I'm, I don't know, maybe it's cause I'm right-handed. So I always tend to do it that way but we can also follow the sketch just to see how it goes. So if I bring this one up here, and then I'm gonna bring this one around the, for the chin, and then just bring the legs, I'm gonna keep it super simple. So I'm gonna bring the leg here down, and just, I'm just looking at different sketches that I did just for ideas. And then we're just going to put the leg across and then up. And I think I will go ahead and do the four legs. So we're going to do that one. And then this one, do another one. My wire is really long, so it's a little hard to work with, but that's okay. And then we're going to bring this one across here and Cross here, okay, and then we're going to bring this one up, uh, and then we're going to bring this one across here. So this is the starting point here, and then we want to do the little bit of uh, eyes. So I'm going to take this, bring this one up, uh, and just do the eyes kind of like an infinity sign. We'll see how that's going to work. So I'm going to bring one here one around here round and see if it's gonna work i mean there's many different variations you can do on these so this is just one idea to do the eyes kind of beside each other so there's that They're, they end up being a little bit big but that's okay like that way they almost looks like a little raccoon mask or something but or sunglasses maybe, I'm not sure what that looks like. So we're gonna bring this one around and then we're going to make the ear. Okay, we're gonna do the ear like that. And uh, what I'm thinking though is to do the other ear, I kind of want the other ear. And the way I finished it on the sketch didn't really look like much. So I could also maybe like, I'm just trying to see the best way to do this. So this would be one ear, but maybe I can, rather than like loop around the whole face again, I'm gonna try to do something, maybe whenever I bring it out this way and then out this way and then back. Let's see if that's gonna work. If I bring it back, that way underneath here rather than going all the way around the face let's see if that's going to work so if we just brought it back that way it's not too bad so uh, that's the that's the part about design that's always a little bit tricky is 
how to finish things, how to get the detail inside the, the wire piece because you're restricted when you do wire. You can't do like areas, unless you're using resin that are like just kind of like uh, not so, like just in the middle of nowhere. So that's not too bad. That works well putting the ear in there. And hi, Galen. Nice. Okay, so now, and Connie, hey, how are you? I'm only on for a bit, no problem. Just enough time to wish Mustafa a happy birthday. Hey, Marc, c'est la fête à Mustafa. Ah, bravo, quel âge? Mais je sais pas, là, c'est... Je dis... Non, peut-être moins, mais euh, ah, je sais bravo. pas. Bonne fête Bonne de Marc-André. So now we are going to do this little guy. Oh, no, how did I do this? So I have to bring this one in. These I all did with one piece of wire, so I have to figure out how I'm gonna do this little guy. Um, but -um, but -um, but -um. Maybe I'll just start, I guess with his ear. I'm gonna bring this one up here. We're gonna do the ear, so there's a little ear. Now this is where I'm not sure how these details are gonna show up because they're so small. We'll see if the details actually show up. So if we're gonna bring this one up here, and then we're going to do the other ear on here. I'm almost tempted to do the babies with a different color wire. So they're gonna show up, but I don't know if that would work or not. That would be actually maybe cute because they're gonna all blend in together. I'm wondering if it would be better to do them with a different wire. I'll just try them like this and I can always do the try another one later with the babies with a different wire because I just I have a feeling it's there might not show up so well but let's try it and see so this is the first one and I'm just trying to keep them very simple like this but what I'm thinking is I might better do them with 22 gauge wire because I think they're going to be very very um small so we're going to see, like, I'm, I'm not sure how well it's going to turn out. There's, I mean, it's not bad. There's a little face. It's cute. Um, I think I'm not going to bother trying to do the paws or anything because it's just going to be way too much detail. So if we do this and then we're going to do another one over here. So same thing. We're just going to get the, I think I'm just going to keep working the wire to the back. Otherwise, I'm going to um, lose track of my directions. So we're going to go here and we're going to do another ear here. My wire is way too long. Oh, uh, Mustafa di Merci. Nice, nice. So now we're going to bring this one in and we're going to do the eye here. And let's see how these little guys are going to look. They might look a little funny, but we don't know until we try. That's the thing, because sometimes we do things and we don't think they're going to work, and then they actually work. So that's often the case. So we're going to bring this one around here. Okay. So we've got two little babies. They're just the heads, actually. That's all you see on these ones. Uh, you could definitely try to do like the whole bodies, but I think this way we're going to at least be able to get like four little guys on there and we're going to see what it's going to do. And this is one of the ones, oops, my, my hands are going off screen. This is the one of the ones that I might try to do another sample like after the live stream to see how it goes. But for now, it's just the concept of trying to put a bunch of babies on the back but I think there's gonna be a better way to do this. I just, this is a, probably the easiest way though, because it's all one piece of wire. Now, if you're gonna do several pieces of wire, then you have to um, deal with having to like how to attach the wires and stuff. So these are, I think these little babies might be getting a little bigger as we go along. It's so funny because we just went to see my niece and she has a cat that just had four little kittens. So. So that's cool. So here's the three little babies. And I guess we'll do one more. And 
Let me just see how this one's going to go. This one, you can even, I could even try to do a bit of a body thing. So we're gonna bring this one around here and then the other ear over here, around here and then down. Let me straighten this one out a little bit and do an eye. We'll do a little eye here, around, and then the nose, and then another eye. This looks more like a pattern than actually babies, but that's okay. So if we have that like that, and then what I did was I actually, for this one, it looked like, like you had a bit of like the body showing too, but I'm not sure how well that's going to work because to have like the hands and stuff they're kind of they're kind of funny looking okay so let's do the back legs now i think i'm not going to mess around with that one too much i think they're i'm just going to keep them like little heads peeking over for now anyways because it's kind of cute and now we're going to do the back legs so we're just going to take this one and keep it simple Bring that one around here and let's just do four legs so it looks pretty even. So we're gonna do that one there, this one around. Sue farts the cutest thing you've seen all day. Oh, and you have a lot of cute things at your house. So that says something, thanks ever. So we're gonna bring this one around and with the little feet, definitely stylized. We're gonna bring this one around. I remember somebody had sent me a video of one of these guys with all the babies on the back and I thought it was so cute. I've been calling them possums, but are they opossums? I'm really like mixed up now with what they're called. Like, is there a difference between a possum and an opossum? I, I, better, get, I better get in the know about that because now I'm not sure. So, and I definitely don't know what they are in French. So I'm gonna have to figure that one out. So here's this. And we're going to bring this one over this way. And we're going to bring this one over here to finish it off. Bring this one around. So this is going to be like a little curved back. Oh, it is cute. That's for sure. And then I just have to figure out how we're going to finish it off. I guess I could have done like a little thing up there to finish it off. But for now, what we're going to do is... Yeah, because I, I don't want the, I don't want um, a little, little thing at the end of the tail. So I'm just going to finish one of them here. O is typically silent. Oh, well, that's good to know. Okay, so you pronounce it possum, but you spell it with a O. Uh, opossums are in North America ones and possums are in Australia. Oh, well, there we go. So now I know. That's awesome. So same, same type of animal just slightly different in size and um, and the breed. So that's good to know. Thank you guys. So there's this and I think that's good. We'll just curve that one out a little bit more. And now we have to do a tail and it's nice when the tail's a little bit long. So I'll just bring this one around, around here. So we're gonna bring this one up I just, I think I'm just gonna have it like lay at at, at um, ground level, the tail. And then we're going to bend this. Yeah, I definitely cut this like way too long, but better too long than too short. So there's this one. And then this to end the tail, we'll just wanna bring it up here, I guess. So yeah, so you could have ended, ended these wires anywhere. But you know what would be really cute would be to put like a little heart in this mama. So I probably should have done something like that. What if I bring this to the back? Okay, bring this one around here. And then I could have just done a heart using like with the wire uh, in the middle here. Like just if I did, let me get my pen. If I had just here done like a little heart. That would have been nice with the same wire. That would have been really cute. So what we can do is maybe add a bead or something. So what I'm gonna do here is I just have to finish 
this one off. So I uh, see this is, I'm not thrilled with how this is finishing here. So what I'm actually gonna do, cause I, I'm really not vibing with that finish. So I'm gonna actually undo that. So we're gonna undo that and we'll finish it up here with one of these little babies or something. I think that's gonna be better. And I'm just going to open this up and I want to bring this one up here. So then there's no like weird part about the tail here. So we're just gonna bring that one up and then bring this one around. I think that's gonna be better. Then it's got a nicer finish on the tail. So we're gonna bring that one up and then you can actually finish it up at one of the babies or something. So if we, even if you brought it, let me just think, what if we brought it? Here, okay, sorry, baby. I am going to do something with this. I'm gonna bring this one straight up. I know that looks funny, but I'm gonna actually do one of the babies with this wire and then finish it over here, I think. So let me try that. So I'm gonna bring this over here. Okay, this is where we sort out the design. And, uh, I've never pronounced the O or spelled it with an O. That's Connie, good to know. There we go, because yeah, when uh, the person that requested this said possum, definitely said possum. So um, so maybe it's an Australian thing. Or no, you said, I think Sue said Australia was possum. I'm not sure. Anyway, so call it what you like. I will call it a possum because that's what the person that asked me for was a possum. So, um, who, if it was you that asked for the possum, please let me know because often I write this down, but sometimes I forget to write it down. So I might have it written down somewhere who asked for the possums, but now I don't remember. So we will find out if they comment. So now we're gonna do the eyes. I'm just remaking this last baby because it wasn't ending how I wanted it to end. I bet Kitty is the cutest. Yeah, the kitties, the kitties that I saw at my niece's place were so cute. Actually, it's a very sad story because this same cat had had one kitten, one single kitten last time we were there which was maybe a month or two ago. Um, but sadly that kitten didn't survive because I guess the survival rate when you have one kitten isn't very high and it's pretty rare just to have one single kitten. So she lost that kitty and then she got pregnant again and was delighted to have her four kittens. So mommy's very, very happy with her four kittens and my niece is gonna keep one of the kittens cause they're so cute. So now she's gonna have four cats, but they live sort of almost in the country. So, so that's okay. So now I've remade that little baby. And then what I'm going to do is I can just finish it up over here. Like I'll just hold it in place, wind this one around, wind it around. Um, I guess once or twice or a few times. So we can wind it around a few times here. Yeah, so that's, ooh, now why is it going down there? Hang on, let me just figure out why that's happening. It kind of like slipped down, but I'm not quite sure why. Oh, cause it went down below this part. That's why. I guess I probably also should have twisted that Okay, let me undo this a little bit. Okay, this is where we work out this design a little bit. And it's cause it, it kind of, here, let me undo this, undo that. And what I should have done was this, with this was first of all, just undid this part maybe. I'm gonna like undo these loops a little bit. So we'll just undo these loops a little bit bring that one over here and hopefully they won't snap. So we're gonna undo those loops, bring that one straight up, this one too, try to undo it without the wire snapping. Sometimes the wire can be a little bit forgiving, other times it might snap. This is artistic wire, so it's pretty good 
it's got a pretty good like resistance uh aluminum wire would like for sure it would just break but this one's not too bad and sometimes when you're trying to unkink the wire you're better just to go really slowly like super slowly so you don't do like a big radical bend but if we go slowly you're might more likely to be able to recover it um because if i took this and i just went it would probably snap but because i'm going like slowly with it it has more of a recovery rate so we're just going to go around like that little tiny pinches and for sure it's kinked but for our purposes it's okay so look i've pretty well like taken all those loops out of here and even though it's super kinky you can actually get a straight uh, the beetle on straighter straightener and straighten it out but what i wanted to do was because the wire was slipping down so now i'm going to wind this wire around that wire so it won't slide down anymore so i'm just going to take this wire in between the babies wind it around full turn and straight up so now that's super secure in there it's super secure and then now i can take this other wire and wind it around that wire and i won't worry about it falling over so we're just gonna hold this here so they're even these little guys are beside each other and we're gonna take this and wind it around a few times now the theory is it's not going to like fall down anymore so and i feel the wire might snap but that's okay so now we've wound it around a few times i can clip it um we're going to do this okay mm -hmm. i think i'm missing some comments hello ada uh i'll be watching these kind of redos yes yes no it's uh there's always a way, almost always a way to fix it. And in the worst case, sometimes if my wire breaks, I'll just attach another wire. So there's usually things are fixable. So now you see guys, it doesn't fall down anymore because we did an extra loop to secure it. And this is fun because it has a nice clean finish on the tail. We didn't randomly finish the wire in a weird place. And then this way we can do a loop to actually hang the mummy uh, with the babies. So you could put a, okay, let me just get my heart beads. I'm gonna leave her here for a second. I'm just gonna get my beads to show you guys what we can do next. So I have a bunch of beads that I used last week with the um, otters. Uh, there's a nice little red glass bead. So we can either put the bead here in there, which would be cute. Um, or we can put the bead on here. Um, let me not speak too soon because it might be too kinked to put the bead on there. But let me try. I'm just going to try to straighten this up a bit. I don't know if it's big enough to use that wire straightener thing. I don't need it that long either, so I can actually trim some of that. So we could put the bead, yeah, it might not go on there because it's not super straight, but let's just try, because now I'm curious to know how it's gonna look with the bead on there. So sometimes we do that. The other thing I've done to straighten it out is just get a cloth and do that. So sometimes you can just get a cloth. I have a polishing cloth that I usually use, but you can, in the worst case, you can use a, a Kleenex or a paper towel. So now nylon plower, pliers for that. Ooh, now there's a good idea. I should get some nylon pliers. I don't have any. This worked fine. So I think I kind of like it like that. It's going to be cleaner. We have a lot going on inside the mommy with the with the babies there. So let's just put the heart here because that's super cute. And I'm going to bend this and do my loop. And oh, Peggy's on her way. Thanks for popping by, Peggy. Haven't talked to you in a while. Nice to see you. So now we can just finish this one up like that. 
Sometimes I'll actually run a wire behind there so it won't twist, but because this is gonna be a pendant, it should sit flat against your chest. So I think it's gonna be all right. I'm just gonna clip that one. And what I should have done is just cut it the right size and then done this, put this around, but that's okay. So we've got the loop there. And like I said, if you, if it's as a necklace, it won't, if it was an earring, it might flip, but even not, like if you get that end right in there, it's not gonna flip too much. So the only other thing I see with this is I don't like the straight across belly. So I'm gonna try to fix that one a little bit. They don't last very long. The, so the, the nylon pliers don't last long, like they get worn out. Is that what you mean, Sue? I've never had them, but I probably should. I'm gonna order some and uh, play with them because I like that idea to straighten the wire with the nylon uh, pliers. That's a, Maybe Beadalon has some they can send me. I'm gonna ask them, that would be great. So I'm just curving the belly out a little bit, makes it look cuter. And um, and th this is actually not too bad with these little faces. Oh my goodness, they're so cute. So I'm going to show you guys. I think we're good for today. I'm going to show you all the things we made. And um, we have, uh, maybe I'll flip this over so we can hold it up. Oh, or let me get another, maybe this one's better. So I'm going to put the mommy with the babies there. And then we have the one on the branch hanging. And then let me know if there's another one you wanted me to make or to make um, after the live stream that if there's anything else you want me to work on. So here they are, super cute. They're little ones, we made little ones this week. So there, and let me know which one you like the best, but I do like the mommy one, that's, that's kind of cute. Even though they're slightly abstract, slightly hard to see, it's okay. The cutest of them all, but the babies make you squeal. Aw, that's so fun. Oh, I'm so happy, guys. Thank you. So yeah, I'll probably play around with these after the live stream as well. I'm gonna work on the templates and put them in the um, in the Etsy DIY shop. And then if there's uh, any other things you want me to work on uh, in other live streams, I'm gonna do the squirrels next week. And, uh, and then I'm going to um, I'll keep taking requests every week to do different things. So I'm gonna flip the screen around and say goodbye. And then we will see you the next time. There we go. Let's do that. And oh, we've got to do the right one here. There we go. Perfect. So guys, thank you so much for hopping on the live stream. That was a lot of fun. I'm trying to keep them to like an hour. Um, sometimes we go a little over time depending on what's going on. And happy birthday, Mustafa. Thanks for hanging out on your birthday. That was pretty fun. And have a great rest of the night. And everybody have a great rest of the day. And we'll see you uh, Saturday. And uh, yeah, have a great week. We'll see you in the Wire Makers Club and we'll look out for the um, call for entry for Live Wires for the Win. That'll be coming in the next week. So thanks guys. Thank you, Mustafa, Calories, and Amber for always uh, moderating the chat. And we will see you the next time. Bye.